I will tell you 10 examples so that you will get a clear picture how to read and write numbers in German. Our first example is 527. 500 That is fünf hundert. Fünf hundert twenty-seven. What do we write twenty-seven in German? Sieben und zwanzig. So five hundred and twenty-seven is fünf hundert sieben und zwanzig. So five hundred twenty-seven is fünf hundert. Sieben und zwanzig. Our second example is one hundred and thirty-seven, which is ein hundert sieben und dreizig. Third number is seven hundred forty-three. Let's take another random example. Seven hundred forty-three. Sieben hundert drei und vierzig. Let's take another example. Eight hundred and seventy-seven. Acht hundert sieben und siebzig. I will take another example. Nine hundred and seventy-two. Nine hundred zwei und siebzig. Let's go with some bigger numbers. Eighty-two thousand two hundred twenty-two. Zwei und achtzig thousand. Zwei hundert, zwei und zwanzig. So first we have to fragment the number eighty-two thousand, eighty-two, zwei und achtzig, two and eighty, thousand, thousand, two hundred twenty-two. So first we will take two hundred. Zwei hundert twenty-two. Zwei und zwanzig. Another random example is ninety-four thousand nine hundred eighty-nine. The same way we have to do ninety-four thousand vier und neunzig. Ninety-four thousand. So. Here, thousand nine hundred and eighty-nine. Nine hundred means nine hundred eighty-nine. Nine and eight-ish, which means eighty-nine. Another random example is twelve thousand. Eight hundred ninety-one. Twelve means zwölf. Twelve thousand means zwölf thousand. Eight hundred ninety-one. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Ninety-one. Ein und neunzig. Another random number seventy-nine thousand one maybe. Seventy-nine thousand nine and zebzish thousand nine. So I taught you how to read and write numbers in German. Earlier, I also I posted some videos regarding German. That videos I will give in the description box. Meet you in my next video. Thank you for watching my video. Bye